everybody. Today we're talking about four ways to connect with your Leo sun child. I'm Maria Rieger, your resident Gemini, and this is Positive Parenting with Astrology. Leo is fixed fire. It literally is the is the energy representing the life force of the sun. Leo is naturally ruled by the sun. And think of the sun, obviously, as a star that is always there for us, that we kind of take for granted. It gives this life force, life vitality to us on Earth. That is how I think of Leo energy in its purest sense, in its purest form, is this life-giving force that allows other people to shine, uh, this, this vitality that gives us life. In many ways, it is the personification of masculine energy. The sun is usually associated with masculine energy, whereas the moon in your chart usually associated with feminine energy. Masculine energy is that doing energy, that expression of will, that asserting itself on the stage of life. So Leo is largely the personification of that energy. It is an energy that, like the other fire signs, attacks life. The sun also, remember, dominates our existence here on Earth. So Leo people can have a very dominant or domineering personality. They definitely make their presence known and felt. Again, all very consistent with what we think of the sun, right? The sun, our star, our life-giving star is always there. Leo energy is enthusiastic about life. It is outgoing and affectionate. It, one thing you notice about fire sign people in general, I think Leo uh, definitely as well, is they tend to have this entourage of people about them. It is a social extroverted energy. That does not mean that all Leo people test as extroverts. I would say probably most of them would test it as an extrovert on the uh, MBTI, but it is typically an outgoing social extroverted energy that is driven to connect with others. And like the other fire signs, Leo people definitely tend to express that warmth, that radiating life energy that uh, we think of that when we think of the sun. And that radiating life energy, that warmth, can manifest with Leo people as a drive to express um, life principles through creativity, through art. It is the drive to express self. Remember, the fire signs are ego-oriented. It is more challenging for heavy fire people to put themselves in the shoes of the other person. This is not necessarily a bad thing, right? It's just that they are very driven to express themselves, and that includes in uh, when interacting with other people. But my point here about Leo is that that warmth, that radiating life energy, uh, often leads to this drive to express life experiences and express the self through art. Every Leo Sun person I have ever come across pretty much, I think pretty much every one is a visual or creative artist in some way. They are artistic in some way. Usually it's the visual arts, but could also be playwriting, uh, novel writing. When I think of a Leo person and creativity and the arts, I think of Steve Martin. He is a Leo son person. He's a comedian. He's a novelist. He's a playwright. He he exemplifies that Leo urge to express the self through art, through creativity. So I think of it as uh, the Leo person's drive to be creative because they're so enamored with life, life experience, and they feel that that radiating, energizing vitality that that um, and they identify so strongly with that kind of life radiating energy that gives us life, this life giving energy that they are driven to express themselves creatively. And that results in, uh, very lucky for the rest of us, it results in some really wonderful works of art and things that we can appreciate. So I, ex I tell you all that to set up for the four ways that you can connect with your Leo kid. One is for you, the parent, to teach your Leo child a creative skill. Uh, one of my friends who is a parenting coach and a sociologist has uh, written a book, How to Raise Respectful Parents, which I love. And she cited this study with foster children. And when the therapists engage the foster children about the adults that have served as examples for them in their lives, they, of course, immediately spoke of the parents first. And they determined that there were several 
ways, uh, activities, or interactions with their parents that really stuck with the foster children and that really served to strengthen the bond between the children and the parents. And the first activity was when the parents taught the children a skill. The children loved that. They loved that connection with the parent, the fact that the parent is teaching them something that they can then use to be independent in life, right? Which we're all, all of us parents are aiming to raise healthy, independent adults eventually, right? So that was, that is an activity that I strongly recommend parents engaging with kids. You may think that your adolescent or teen is resistant to you teaching them something. And yeah, sometimes they will express some resistance or irritation or annoyance, but that does that does not mean that they do not get something out of the activity. And that does not mean that they appreciate the activity. I promise you, even if they don't, they don't uh, display this, you know, over enthusiasm about uh, the activity and doing that with you, they appreciate it. They appreciate the time you are dedicating to them and the attention that you are giving them. So that's the first thing I recommend to do to uh, connect with your Leo child is having you teach them a creative skill. Why creative? For all the reasons we just talked about. Leos are very creative and they love uh, artistic pursuits. And <clears throat> the great thing about a creative skill is that this is not something that has to be perfect. This is not about uh, achieving a perfect result. It's about the process. And uh, you allow your Leo child the freedom to artistically express themselves how they want. They can choose the colors, they can choose the medium, they can choose the subject if you're doing a drawing or a painting or something like this. So for example, if your Leo child it shows a propensity for painting or drawing, you can help them improve uh, a technique or you can teach them a new technique or you can read a book about drawing or painting. And you do not have to be uh, artistic to do this. You know, um, my mother, who is a Leo son, is a very gifted artist, visual artist, and she works has worked in all kinds of different mediums. I don't have any of that. I like to write. That's my big thing. But as far as visual art, painting, drawing, I can do paint by numbers and stuff, really simple stuff. But I don't, I'm not gifted at it. My son is way more gifted in drawing. But my point here is that you, the parent, do not have to be perfect at the activity to teach your Leo child something. You could teach them something or introduce them to something um, without having to be perfect at it yourself. So don't let uh, you know um, that hold you back. The fact, if you're not 100% confident in your own abilities or you have imposter syndrome, like so many of us do, do not let them hold you back. You can, do not let that hold you back. You can still teach your kids something or introduce them to some new concept that they will appreciate. And that time together serves to strengthen your connection. Now, the second way to connect with your Leo kids is you have them allow them to teach you a skill or an activity. Maybe it's a creative skill. Maybe it's a drawing. Maybe it's teaching you something new about art or writing or uh, something else that you did not know about. Maybe follow their instructions and have them choose a subject for you or choose something for you to read or uh, choose the colors for you to use in your drawing or painting. Kids love this because little kids and older kids too, because it helps their self-confidence. When, when you explain and teach something to somebody else, it helps your self-confidence. You realize I do know this, I can teach this and I can articulate this. So it helps your self-confidence. And it's a great reminder that we can learn from kids. If we allow our kids, if we are open to having them teach us and are, allow ourselves to be taught by them that and recognize that us parents, we do not always have all the answers, ni mucho menos, as we say in Spanish, don't have all the answers. I don't even have some of the answers some of the time. So, uh, but my point is, you know, us parents, we're not perfect. We don't have all the answers. Uh, we can learn from kids. And if you're a good parent, and I know you are if you're watching this channel because you're striving to be better, you're always striving to improve. That's what we do. Uh, you realize that you can always improve. You can always learn something new. And sometimes that something new you learn comes from your children. 
Now, the third thing I recommend to connect with your Leo child is to do something fun together, like just for the fun of it or watch something funny, some humorous show, right? Um, you know, let your kid pick it and uh, you can let your kid pick the show if you want. Um, they love, you know, having that autonomy. It fills their, their power bucket, right? But uh, do something, some activity that is just for fun. There's no pressure to do anything. There's no pressure to accomplish anything. It's the activity for the sake of the activity. The activity for the sake of just spending time together, occupying the same space and presenting, you know, an opportunity, creating an opportunity uh, for connection, to strengthen the bond, just something fun. It could be as, as simple as a walk together or going to the playground together and hanging out or watching a funny show together. It's just something fun, uh, nothing that you have to accomplish where there's not necessarily a point, right? And there's not necessarily, you're not rushing to get from activity to activity. It's just something very relaxing that you're doing for the enjoyment of spending time together. Now, the fourth and last thing I recommend uh, to connect with your Leo child is, is to praise their effort, especially their artistic effort, and engage with them about their artistic efforts. Ask them about what they're drawing. Oh, why did you choose that subject? That's so interesting. Or that's a beautiful painting. Like, how did you do that technique? Or what made you choose to draw instead of paint? Or what made you choose to write instead of write a short story instead of a poem or something like this. Like show that you are interested in their world, especially in their artistic world. And this is not about improving their technique or criticizing them, or providing constructive feedback. It's just you showing an interest in their world and uh, what they are doing. Kids love that. E yes, even older children, even adolescents and teens, they may not say it, they may not show it right away, but they love the parents showing interest in them. Remember, older kids, um, especially 12, 13 and older, they uh, they will not articulate to you necessarily, not usually, that, uh, hey, mom and dad, I feel disconnected from you. I, I, uh, I, I really want to hang out. They won't articulate that. They want, but they want the parent to keep trying, to keep working on the relationship, to fight for the kids. That's what they want psychologically. And you have to know that that's the dynamic that's happening. So my point is, even with older kids, you can do all these things. And even if you think that it's not helping the bond and the connection while you're doing it, it is. I promise. You have to keep doing it and keep trying. That's the big message I want to leave you with. Keep trying. Keep doing the work. Now, when you're engaging with your Leo child about uh, what they're working on artistically, creatively, you can praise their effort and also praise the outcome. That's a beautiful drawing. I can see you worked really hard on that. You have a lot of natural talent. In other videos uh, on Leo, I've talked about how you want to make sure you're praising the effort, not just the outcome, uh, because that helps because that helps promote the children to be intrinsically motivated. You don't want to prom you don't want to suggest though that they should only do activities if they get something that fosters entitlement. You want to work on that intrinsic motivation with all kids. So when you praise the the effort, uh, you're that's what you're doing. You're focusing on helping them build that self motivation that comes from inside, and that's something that's 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 something that is clearly important because when kids uh, get older and grow up and leave the household and the parents are not around, they have to foster that motivation to do things even the things that they don't really want to do. Um, I know as an adult, sometimes it's hard for me to do the things that I really should do, but I don't want to do. So that, you know, fostering that sense of motivation, that inner motivation starts at home with the parents helping the kids to get there. Okay, that is what I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for your attention. If you want more on how to parent the Leo child, I've got this great video right here to check out and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.